brutal murder of Alice Wiltshaw was one of the most grisly crimes to occur during the 1950s. The blooded body of the 62-year-old was discovered in the kitchen by her husband Cuthbert, who had returned home from work. After Alice was knocked unconscious, the assailant went upstairs to steal property. As she tried to escape, Leslie Green hit Alice with vases, ornaments and anything else he could find. Alice finally made it back to the kitchen, but as she lay bloodied on the floor, the killer blows came when Leslie stabbed Alice through the head with a three foot poker before stabbing her in the stomach numerous times. <laughs> tonight we're hoping to speak to Alice the poor lady who was murdered here by a crazed maniac Alice is it this staircase where you were attacked we know that you regained consciousness and were attacked again whoa nice ball alive Kelly needs to see proof of the afterlife I've witnessed it myself but Kelly has not Leslie, set off that device if you are here you coward murderer you've taken Alice's life I've got some slow balls of light appearing on stairs We are inside the murder house and it's a strange feeling. You kind of feel lost, like you're not sure where to go. I think what we should do, Kelly, is just have a walk around, see what other locations we can find inside this building and then continue recording. Sounds like room water. So there is signs Someone may have been living here, may have been sleeping here. It's not safe in there. It's not safe in any bit of it. Oh, look at this girl there. Cellar. Jesus Christ, that's proper deep. Thanks, so we're going to continue exploring guys, although they managed to capture something paranormal on camera. That's the problem with these sort of places, oh. you always end up with things being trashed, because people can't behave. Obviously that water is very, very loud, it must be five or six foot deep in that cellar. Is anyone on the bottom of the stairs? Maybe come up, walk up. Whoa, swear to God. What? With a ball light up here, then straight upstairs, almost as if someone was walking directly towards you. Really? I'm not kidding. Could you maybe come up, walk up? Whoa, swear to God. Show yourself as that ball of light again if you can. Come towards us. I've just seen you walk up those stairs in spiritual form. You did exactly what I asked. Is there any way you could do that again? No. You just breathe right heavy then. Yeah, I just got a cold. So we've set up the REM pod on the stairs and we've got a K2 meter directly at the top of the bottom stairs. 
If you are here, Alice, now's the time to try and make yourself known. Could you affect one of those devices for me? Or possibly push over that K2 meter? But it's at a 45 degree angle against the wall. I've seen this device go over numerous times in the past. And it would be fantastic if you could do that today. I've seen a ball of light fly up these stairs when I asked. And it wasn't your regular orb that people see. This moved with intelligence and it moved slowly, almost at walking pace. If that was you, could you give me a light on that EMF detector, the one at the top of the stairs, leant against the skirting board? It's got a little green light on it. Leslie, if you are with us right now, set off this device right here. The REM pod. Take its energy if you need to. Do whatever you can to alert us to your presence. If you are here, you shouldn't be here. You should be in hell for what you did. I'll list myself and Kelly have sat on these stairs to just spend a moment and try and imagine how you actually felt when you were attacked in your own home. Our hearts truly go out to you and the pain and trauma that you would have suffered during that attack would haunt anyone forever. There is a REM pod here, a device that emits its own magnetic field. If you could break that field, it would give us a sign that you are present tonight. But to be fair, if I was murdered in this house, I wouldn't want to hang around. I'd want to move on and go to a better place and meet all my friends and family. Not hanging around in a place that's now known as a cemetery, as a place of death. Leslie was hoping for his crimes and myself and Kelly hope to God that he suffered during that time. Alice, if you can hear my voice and you are still here, you no longer have to remain here. I know that there is a chance that you're stuck here because of the trauma and the sudden attack that occurred. Maybe your brain is having the same thing happen over and over again. That is known as limbo. But do not be alarmed. You can move on from this. And if you are stuck here, then please try and move on. I'm sure someone will guide you and show you the way. I can't stop visioning how frightening it must have been for her to have been stood at the bottom of those stairs and have him charging towards her with whatever. So we're going to work downstairs because someone's busted a pipe in this building. Alice, if you are with us today, is it possible for you to speak to us right now? We know that you were executed in your home by a crazed lunatic. The man was eventually hung for the crime that he committed. And we know that the police said it was one of the worst things they had ever seen. I am truly sorry that this had to happen to you. Is there a way you could give me a sign that you can hear my voice? Alice, if you're with us right now, I've placed a little device in the centre of the room. This device will detect your presence. If you can go as close to that device as physically possible, you will be able to set that off for us. Can you come towards it as a ball of light? We're here to learn about your story. In order to prove that the afterlife is real, we need you to interact with us tonight. You're probably wondering who we are. My name is Kyle Thompson, and this is Kelly Tatler. And we both believe in the afterlife. We're sorry that you were murdered in your own home. It must have been truly devastating for your family. You try and give me a sign that you are here.
Whoa, Kelly, she's a rape ball like come round door. Did you? Proper beast, like like as if, like from outside the door frame into the actual room that we're studying right now. If you want to interact with us tonight, I'll show you what you need to do with this device. Literally, the closer you get, you will give us this effect. And if you're actually able to hold the antenna, then this will happen. If you need to, try and take the energy from that device. We're trying to document that the afterlife exists. We want you to try and help us prove that could you come through that doorway, directly towards me? Are you glad that your killer was hung? Give me a sign. Speak to me if you can. Try and affect this device on the ground, this REM pod. We are going to move around this building tonight in the hopes of capturing the paranormal. So we're turning on the necrophonic spirit box and we're hoping that any spirits present in this building will be able to communicate with us tonight. Now, we've heard the odd click and the old thing moving around, but we're not sure if that's water damage because someone's broken the pipes. However, we do hope that this device will give us a sign and someone will speak to us tonight. If you're here, Alice, would you say your name? Alice, did you just speak to me? What happened to you inside this home? We're here to document proof of the paranormal. Because it's out one of these devices on the ground for me. Alice? That was a direct reply. So it seems like it's been a really quiet investigation. Myself and Kelly were picking up on little things, little knocks and little taps, but in a building like this that's been absolutely trashed, I mean, someone's pulled the water pipes out, the cellar's flooded. Potentially, there could be a lot of energy due to the amount of water. However, audibly, we're not hearing a lot. We did think that we'd heard the name Alice through the spirit box numerous times, but no equipment's gone off whatsoever, and I find that really strange. We usually do get activity on our equipment. But, you know, you've watched this film, we've enjoyed it, it's a tough location to get into, it's very, very risky, however, we've thoroughly enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.